Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're going to be doing another sketchbook today. I was actually planning to spend some time outside, but it's actually currently two degrees, but it's meant to warm up a little bit later, which is fine because I can just sit down and be a bit more warmer today in the house whilst everything else is going on. But anyway, enough about my life. This is what we are discussing today. So this is a sketchbook, I believe it's from college, and it was, well, basically we had different projects throughout the two years that I was there at Bath, Co at Bath College. And one of them was photography, so we got an in-depth sight into photography. I don't know if it was this, this was the first year or the second year, but we're going to just look for it. And, well, hopefully some memories will come flooding back so we can discuss that. So yeah, just an A4 sketchbook. If any of you are new to my channel, I have done plenty of the other sketchbooks. I've done all my university ones. I'm kind of going through my college ones I did for two years at Bath College and I've also got my GCSE and my A-level sketchbooks as well and I think I've actually got one or two from before that so that'd be quite interesting to see the transition from when it was like when it was a subject that I enjoyed at school to the point where I was like oh I can't wait for double art this Friday on the last two periods compared to when I was taking art a lot more seriously so yeah let's just get cracking basically always like to start with an artist's well inspiration really this is quite dark actually but i do love a good artist page so we've got here the basically the outline of what the module is because you do get marked on it and all the marks from different projects add up to your final grade um i actually thoroughly enjoy photography i think it helped who well it just helped with my lecturer well not lecturer like teacher he was lovely. I can't remember his name, but I do remember that he was a, he had a very strong Welsh accent and that for me was just comforting. And he, I think he drove from like Newport every day to get to Bath College. So um, obviously he enjoyed his job. So if, I don't know if he's out there, if he's still at Bath College. Hello, if you are. This is just a nice little overview of what it was called. Oh, it's got his name on it. Nathan Osmond. Nine years ago. So this was done nine years ago. And I want to say this is was the first year of college. Yeah, I graduated from school in 2012, did a year of sixth form and then went to college for two years because I realised after sixth form, the only subject I was interested in was art and design. So <laughs> carried on. Now we've got some more artist research. I think that's very morbid, but it is what it is. And then I think we went down to the very basics of what type of film you needed to ios iso i think that's the settings for it and then we've got oh so i remember this bit we were given a camera literally within the first lesson and we were told to just go out and take photographs of stuff that we enjoyed and explored all the health and safety stuff to make sure we tick that box and then we've got oh more health and safety notes so these are some of the film negatives that I still do have and we kept the strips but to make it easier for us we basically printed it onto a piece of paper. I actually do have larger images of these which I completely forgot about actually. Some of them were just way 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 too exposed and some of them were just... I think we just chose a subject of our feet and stuff. And then we've got a bit more darkroom photography, we we're just messing around with, bit of, with bits of imagery so very morbid stuff there's a lot of world war ii and death and things going through a sketchbook already and we've got different exposure rates images of the pattern and then we've got people and there's a book it's a shame that's not in focus i'd rather have her out of focus and this in focus so then we've got oh it's me with my messy hair just on the phone I've got a handprint there some more Photography practice. Got some collage. I've never faced the camera. I had this massive washy hair that I absolutely loved for a good few years. And we were learning about contrast and how you can make a lovely, interesting contrast depending on the. What I mean by contrast, I mean like the. Well, I was going to say contrast. The definition between dark and light. It was always such a lovely thing because it relates back to a quote by Turner I don't know if it's a completely right but I remember him saying something about don't be afraid to put the darkest of items next to the light because the light brings it forward or something that just popped into my head so yeah so 
some lovely images and we've got where you flip the image and then just a lot more text i'll just read this a little bit out when you put the negative into the mc i don't know what it is maybe neg the you or something <laughs> you can change flip the image to best fit the outcome i tried on the print and found that the image looked better left to right so it must have been like a flipping system that we were using in the, in the room but i'll tell you what my favorite process was actually not just taking the pictures was actually make transi transitioning them from the screen into that exposure bit and then put them in all the chemicals because it was just a sound, like a fun process to do and then we've got some weird bits and pieces just a lot of chopping up and then we've got some more of the images lots, lots of arms and feet and people really And then we were trying to influence bits and pieces by either including water. I think we actually lit some of the pictures up to make this burnt effect. So I actually sold a piece a while ago of a picture of Bath down by the river. And I had burnt, so like this section here, and it created this lovely effect. It was just, it was really extraordinary. And I mean... I don't know what happened here. Something must have fallen out or something. And we've got some images of books and hands. And some pictures of pictures. And then we've got a final piece. So I won't read this all because it's like front and back. <laughs> oh look, so I've got a little thing from Bath College. So, oh, this is from second, second year. Okay. So, that's quite a short sketchbook, actually. I would have thought there was more. But, I definitely... Where is it? I quite like that page. Just because it had all the exposed films. I think someone... Oh, there was three of us in a group. I think one of us just took some of the films... For ourselves and then that's why we had these printed onto photograph film photograph film photograph paper but nice short book but it was a very nice in-depth scene into the photography world because other than taking the picture on a digital camera i never really got the chance to use film i actually do have a film camera which i still need to develop the film on i need to send it off and get all the films back and then do what i need to do with it basically i feel like they're Obviously I was there for a whole two years, so I can actually go back into photography. So I was there for a whole two years, so I believe we did do it in the second year and developed a bit more. The first year of college was very much, these are all the processes that you can do. So you got to experiment the whole year and just be like, this is what's happening. You get to choose what you want to do. Sorry, my cat wants me. Come here. Oh. So I think I did come back to it in the second year because we did just, we did a little bit of an in, well... A reintroduction just in case we wanted to do it and it's a shame actually in university I didn't go into it as much depth I think we had only had a couple of weeks with it compared to four months it is a process that I thoroughly enjoy and obviously she enjoys because she wants to get involved she clearly doesn't know what she wants <laughs> um, but on that note guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did while well, going back through my life and be able to relive my photography years like i said i do have some film that i need to process and develop so i need to send that off and i will show you the images of it because some of them are from like three four years ago and some of them actually from well the other day really um but until then thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this and don't forget to check out my links to all my social medias and also my ebay sale account which is where you'll find all my artworks that i feature on my channel up for sale as well as a couple of extras that i don't film and yeah really oh, also there is a paypal donation page if you'd like to make a donation it would really help me out but if you can't do any of that just like and subscribe that'd be amazing and i'll actually see you next time bye